Hey, what is up, everybody, and welcome back to Dial 20. This is episode 4, and we have... This is all fine, Danny, but I need to get this up to a higher level. We're having slight problem problems with power, and it's due to this. I made this um, off-camera 1200 RF attack. Yeah, that, it is running an upgrade. The argumentation here... Oh, yeah. You can see it goes twice the speed but uses three times the energy, so yeah, it's not good. I um, also made the flu transporter for it as well, and made a cleaver, and got a bunch of ender pearls and blaze rods. So we are pretty good on that. Let's... Oh, we have horses, okay. I'm guessing Tough Thing must have gotten those. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade the hardened energy cell to the redstone. So let's see, we are going to need 4,000 millibuckets of destabilized redstone. Is that right? That sounds too much some reason. Can I read that wrong? Hmm. Well, there's a thousand right there, so let's see. Um, I feel like we can do, do it in blocks, make it go by a little bit faster. Right? What should this block give us? Yeah, nine, okay. Let's do two more of those. And what's we need? We need to make the frame. Oh, come on. There we go. Diamond, electrum, and fused quartz, I think I can do. So four quartz blocks should do us, then grab the diamond, and... What was it? Oh yeah, the Electrum. Uh, Electrum... There we go. I think we might need a little bit more Electrum than that, but... How are we looking? I guess we need three more. One, two, three... That should do us with filling it. Oh, that's good. Where's the... What? Burnt quartz. Um... Oh. Hmm. Okay, then what do we use this for? Um... Ender quarry upgrade? What? Whatever. Okay, well that's messed up then. Um, I think I need to do it in alloy mode. Let's just test it with one. Hmm, that's weird. Does it work now? Yeah, okay. So, make sure the um, alloy smelter is in the alloy mode, not furnace mode, of course. Come on. Any day now. Keep it going. And done. Okay. So let's see, it was cornered electrum. Come on, mouse. Work with me here. Diamond. Perfect. Okay, then we're gonna fill this up. Right here. Right. Four thousand. Okay, yeah, it's working. Okay. That's gonna take a hot minute. Uh, three electrum. Oh, shoot. I need one more piece of electrum. Silver and, silver and gold. One, two. Perfect. It's, it's on alloy mode. Should give us more electrum. Okay. And. Go like 
that. And I think. Was it redstone in the corners, I think? Let's see, is this done? Yeah, it is. And like that? Oh, something else in the corners. What is it? Lead. Okay. Um, yeah. I may need to go mining again at some point. I think I'm running a little bit low on lead, I think. Yeah, it looks like lead. I'm running low on silver. I'm okay on. I could be doing better on silver. Diamonds, I think I'm low on. Am I low on diamonds? Nah, not really. Got 15. So that's good now. Also, upgrading to this. Enderium. Hmm. So we can do it in this smelter. Got ender pearls, enderium base, shiny, silver, and 10. Okay. Um. Shiny, shiny, silver, and ten. Okay. Ugh, all different versions. Mm-hmm. Don't like that. Uh, let's see. Silver. No. Silver, shiny, and two parts ten. Right. Okay. How many does that give us? We got a little bit more silver and lead here. It's okay, no, no. Four. Okay, we need four to surround it. Okay. So then it can be four Enderium base. Is it one Enderium for each time? It might be. Or it might not be. Let's see. No. Oh, it's two. Ah. Fricker. Uh, okay, let's do this one more time. Shiny. Silver. And two parts of ten. That's good enough. Get us enough, then we need eight ender pearls. Just grab that. And what was the last thing? Pyrothium. A blaze powder, redstone, sulfur, and coal dust. Uh just wanna had sulfur somewhere. Yeah, there we go, sulfur. Um Blaze powder, I can pulverize one more of these. That should give us enough. Uh, coal dust. Yeah, it's plenty. Uh oh, what are you doing? Okay, that's fine. So we need three more. The coal dust, and what was the last thing to make the enderium? What to make the pyrothium to make the enderium? Redstone. Okay, so yes, I got everything. Actually, let's just do it in here since it's probably gonna be faster. Do do do, do. no do. Oh, darn it! It's not faster. <laughs> not when you mess up. Um, pyrothium. Perfect. In the pyrothium. Uh oh. Getting lag? No? Okay. Pyrothium, enderium, and the enderium base. And the other enderium bases. Okay, then that should cook up. Right? Oh, that is slow. Oh dear. Wow. Okay, um, I'm doing on power, yeah, we're quickly dropping, um, well, that takes a long time, doesn't it? Okay, well, how about, while that is waiting, we will look at upgrading the power lines, actually, let's see, vibrant alloy, how is this made? Ender pearl and energetic alloy, redstone, gold, and glowstone. I think I can make that, because that would help increase the speed of the machines. And I'm also going to need it for this, the higher power lines. 
Yes, let's do glowstone, gold, and red, and redstone. Let's do glowstone. We got some redstone on us. And gold. Okay. Alright, more glowstone there. Okay. Which we can't do because it's being used. Darn it. Um, hmm. Well, how about we pause it right here and I'll be right back once this is done um, processing. Alrighty then. So, I, uh, as you can see, this is just finished the vibrant alloy. So, we got. If you don't have any of the energetic ones left over, but. I went ahead and made upgrades for these. These can actually move pretty darn fast. Look at that. 500,000 RF at 100 RF a tick max speed. That is crazy. I made two of the highest tier capacitors for these two machines. Because for some reason the, um, the vibrant alloy doesn't take really all that long. But making the um, tier before that, the energetic alloys, man that's a long time. Those. Those certainly took their sweet time. I also, I got the Ethereum ingots done as well uh, off camera. So let's go ahead and make while that is training out. We'll just make right. Okay, a resonant energy cell. Ten thousand RF a tick. It can send and receive, and handles fifty million RF in total. One inner pearl left over. Sweet. So let's use this. Empty. Yeah, yeah, it's completely empty. Grab my wrench. Right here. Let's go ahead and swap these two out. Okay, and I'm gonna reprogram this. Right now, uh, everything is blue for that, I think. Yeah, okay. And, um, <laughs> yeah, we need to get power going, so let's go ahead and throw. I don't have enough inventory space, do I? Let's see. Let's go ahead and turn those back into ingots, I think. There we go. And, what was I gonna do? Whoops. Oh yeah, cool, 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 charcoal. One, two, three. Go ahead and run all these. So that should be charging up really, really nicely. Oh yeah, we're good. Okay. So I think I think these are the only two machines that should be charging still. That one, that one's full. That one's full. Okay, so they're both fully charged. So we're all, yeah, we're storing all the energy. Okay. So next up, I want to make the higher tier, or well, not the higher tier, but the highest tier energy conduits. Oh, yeah, it doesn't like doing that, does it? Is it that table? Let's see. Let's see if it's that table. Oh, I lost the recipe. Where's the recipe? Oh, I see it. Hmm. It seems to be that table. For some reason, for some reason, the crafting station is messing up. Strange. Hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab all of these and place their big brothers down. There we go. Twenty thousand four hundred eighty RF it can handle. Let's go ahead and swap these out as well. Oh, we only got one to spare. Nice. Okay, how's this doing? Charging very nicely. Nice. Okay, um. Let me clean out most of my inventory here. Let's see, what can we make with these endurium? Resonant flux capacitor. Hmm. Resonant satchel. Oh, is there another bag we can make? Tesseract frame? Hmm. I don't think we need Tesseract frames yet. 
Um, I'm interested about the satchels, actually. So tin, leather, and wool. Let's see, do I have my tin on me? Not. Don't think I do. Tin. Leather is somewhere. I think I have enough leather left over. Leather. Tin leather and what was it? Do, 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 do. Tin leather and wool. I think we have block of wool somewhere. We've got enough string. We have block of wool. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it's, for some reason it's that table. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, Invar and ten nuggets. Interesting. I can use the ore berries. Sweet. I, can, I have a use for the ore berries now. Yay! Then Invar. Yep. Actually, let's see how much space do we have in this. So we got one, one row. Okay. okay it says empty. I wonder if I put my let's say piece of leather in there. Tell me. Oh, that's actually that's actually really nice. Let's see. Uh, must not like the um ore berries then. Yep, and then the hardens. This one I'm gonna guess two rows. Yep. Let's see. Then they reinforced more of that glass and inbar nuggets. of our nuggets like that, I think, or is it like that? Right here. Yeah, it was like that. Okay, and then fused quartz. So then two blocks of fused quartz set alloy mode. Yep. Oh yeah! Look how fast that is now. Love it. It, it really does make a huge difference in amount of time that I'm just standing here waiting for things to complete. Nope. Right here. Okay. So then this would probably be three. Mm-hmm. So it's actually as much as our inventory is, minus the hot bar. And the resonant, enderium, and electrum nuggets. I'm gonna get one lonely electrum. Grab the enderium. Maybe because it's a bag, maybe it doesn't like that. Then the resonant satchel. Oh, oh, there we go, okay. Nice! It's actually not bad. And we also have this. I made a bunch of these being a complete idiot, forgetting that they only work on passive mobs. Yeah, I was gonna try and grab blazes and wither skeletons with those, but that's not gonna work. So let's see. Um, no, uh -oh. that's not broken yet. Um, we seem to be dwindling on our. Um, oh, I just go smelt that. Smelt up the bread. Oh, furnace mode. Sorry. Furnace. Check it out. So much faster. I love that. Man, we're gonna seriously need to go through storage. I think perhaps next episode we will have to go ahead and um, check into the equivalent. No, not equivalent exchange. Uh, AE. So let's see, applied. Um, we already used the grinder, the quartz grindstone. I'm not sure how to begin. I know we need we need an ME drive. Which looks like we need diamonds. Flux crystals. Quartz fiber. So that's not too hard to get. The flux crystal.
checkmate. Drop one charged tortoise quartz plus one nether quartz plus it's one dust and no puddle next to one another and wait a moment to receive two fluid crystals. Oh. Okay. Um. I guess I may have to get started on that between this episode and next, because it sounds like that's going to take, take its certainly sweet time. Um. You know, how, how about I look more into this and we will be right back. Okay, well, um, after doing some research, my head hurts very much so. A, uh, Platinum Logistics has gotten much more complicated. You need, like, chargers and scribers, this whole, like, fluix crystals, you have to grow them. It's pretty crazy, but it seems to me that in order to really get started, I need to make a meteorite compass. So that shall require a charged Sirtis Quartz, which I have, and four iron. Then we're going to need to go off, so it looks like there's one in that direction. But I need to find the Inscriber Engineering Press, which according to NEI, it can be found in meteorites. So we are going to need to go on a little adventure. I'm definitely using bat mode to be able to um, fly around quicker. Let's see, so pick a location. So in this direction. Nope, oh, a bit more that way. That way. Nope. I'm not sure if these are going to be like on the surface or um oh, 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 pick, pick a location. Come on. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Um I'm guessing it's got to be down then, right? Yeah, it's going it's going crazy. Let's see if we can find one. This would be pretty nice if we could find one right off the bat. Oh, gotta change tools. Hmm. Oh, 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 It's still going crazy. So we're heading the right direction. It looks like there's ghost blocks. Somewhere around here. Yeah, it was that one. Okay. Should be somewhere down here. I think. Actually, could it be in the sky? No, it would have to be stationary, wouldn't it? I don't think we're gonna have to like chase meteorite through the sky or something. According to this, it's still going crazy, so we gotta be somewhere near it. We're only, yeah, we're only at 80 Y level now, so let's go to the hammer. Speed this up a little bit. I don't know how far down they're going to be. I would, I would have assumed that they would have been on the surface, but. Perhaps not. Hmm. Well, down below the 40s now. And looks like we found a mine shaft. Still no meteorite though. Oh! Whoa! Okay then. Let's see. Go ahead and block off the water. Get back to digging right out here. Oh, oh. Okay, more of the mine shaft. It's got to be somewhere around here, right?
Whoa, 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 whoa. I heard that. Oh, more. More of these. I always like these. It says it's this way. It says it's like right here. Well, start going crazier when I'm closer to it or something. Hey, hey, hey. No, no. Oh God, there's a spawner. Hmm. This might be a little bit harder than I thought. I don't see it anywhere. That's not the meteorite. That's um whole nother mod. Um Hmm. Alright, well, I'm going to pause right here and see if I can find where this meteorite is. I found it! At least I think so. This um, would make sense being sky stone, so let's take forever going into it. Yeah, it was, I wasn't too far off. I was maybe 10 or so blocks away from it. So I'm going to assume I'm going to have to go into the center. I hope this thing's hollow. It's not going to be like this the entire time. Come on. More quickly here, lag. I wonder what else I can use this sky stone for. Hmm. Come on. This is definitely it because the compass is going absolutely a wall here. Can I use this for? Guy stone chest. I have to. Oh, is it gonna look like the? Oh, it's gonna look exactly like everything else, isn't it? It looks like you need need for crafting recipes too. Do I have to dig all this up to find that stupid chest? And grab and then torch there. Not sure where the center of this thing is. But my hammer has starting to a little bit low. Hmm. Oh. Yes. Engineering press. That is the one that I needed, right? Describer engineering press. I believe so. Um, what was I going to make? I was going to make this. Discover engineering press. Sweet. So we found it. Okay. Well, unfortunately, we've, we are reaching that wrap up time. So I'm going in here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been your boy Super Amy here from Master Gamers. Saying peace out, everybody. Peace.